How's it going everybody? This is Golden Bolt and welcome back for some more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team. In the last episode, we went off to Northwind Field and fought Suicune to get our wing upgraded to the Rainbow Wing. And in this episode, we're going to head off to Mount Faraway to finally solve the mystery of the Mirage Pokemon. Oh, and I should point out that I'm Gold Rank now. Uh, that happened uh, during the big cut uh, between in uh, the last episode. In the middle of it, I uh, decided to do some side rescue missions, and I uh, am gold rank or gold rank. Also, I'm at money three because I just bought like a ton of items. <laughs> uh, I didn't even notice how like much I spent. I was uh, unlocking a bunch of friend areas too, so I'm pretty broke. But that's okay because we've got Quentin with us. We've got a uh, got a whole bunch of items. We're stocked up, and we're gonna head off to Mount Faraway. So without further ado, everyone, let's head there and finally, finally solve this mission of the Mirage Pokemon once and for all. Let's do this. Mount Faraway. Alright, now Mount Faraway is a 40 floor dungeon, much like Stormy Sea. It's gonna be a challenge. Let's do this. Okay, here we go. I'm. It's weird to think how close we are to the end of this LP. I can't even, like, fathom it. Just, like, how close this is to ending, and it's so weird because it's always been there. It's like how when uh, Pokemon Emerald uh, ended, it was like, oh, it was the LP that it was always there, I could always come back to. But, you know, I only am able to cover so much of this before, like, having to grind. I don't want to have to grind out, like, 50 levels on screen. But they will serve as bonus features, so it won't be totally dead like I did before. But, man, this is just weird. It's just weird that it's this close to being over. And, ah. Uh, but, I don't know. I, uh, it's funny. I expected Mount Faraway to be challenging, as I said earlier. But it's not really. We actually had a pretty, pretty easy time on that. Uh, on this, aside from a couple of monster houses, which you will see. But you know, I, it's, it wasn't. And all in all, it wasn't too bad. Um, there is something I should point out, though. The Frenbo is actually capable of being found in this dungeon on the 30th floor. Uh, it's behind a locked door. I'm not getting it in this episode because I'm going to have a roundup episode where I will uh, come back to this dungeon. Is one of the ones I'll come back to as well. Stormy Sea. And uh, maybe some others, uh, depending on what I feel like doing and what I feel like covering in bonus features. But, um, I don't want those roundups to be completely bland, because if I just do a roundup of Legendary episode, that's not going to be very long, because I'm not going to show the whole dungeon again. I would basically just show uh, up to where we are right now. Um, I, uh, I, I will show that locked door uh, in, uh, in Mount Faraway here to get the... Uh, friend bow. Now, what the friend bow does is in it increases your chance of recruiting uh, certain Pokemon, certain legendaries. So having it will be just absolutely perfect. So I will probably come back to get this, to get the friend bow, and then press my luck with some of the harder to recruit legendaries. Uh, so I don't have to include everything in bonus features because I want to cover as much as possible. Minus my whole, uh, you need to be level 90 to at least even have a, a somewhat chance. Also, Lucario rank helps to uh, get your uh, recruitment up. Uh, we're not Lucario rank yet. Our team is only Gold rank. But, um, gold rank's still pretty dang good. Um, as for Pokemon that you need to worry about in this dungeon, there aren't really too many, I would, uh, I suppose. The only thing that really serves as an annoyance is Parasect later on, but, um, because he's gonna spam out Spore, and that's gonna, gonna, gonna kinda get annoying. But, uh, all, all in all, everything else, not really too bad. I wish I would watch out for the, uh, some of the ground-type Pokemon, uh, if you have a fire-type Pokemon like I do. Quentin with us. Um, but all in all, it's not that hard of a dungeon, uh, much easier than I expected. Also, Azumarill's are special Pokemon, is what I call it in this dungeon. Uh, being found on floor 10, 20, 30, and 35, much like how Vaporeon was in Stormy Sea. Um, and, yeah, it's kinda cool. Oh, Vigoroth! I love Vigoroth. Vigoroth, however you want to pronounce it. I, it, I, I always have that weirdness when, pr with pronouncing, uh, certain Pokemon. And, oh, look, golems! How nice! Let's beat us up some golems. And that's an evil trap! Who puts a trap right there? It's like, oh, you're gonna turn left to go to the stairs? Trap! Ugh. They know exactly what I'm trying to do. But, you know, that's, I suppose, that is how you would set up a trap if you're gonna, you know, want someone to get hit by it. Oh, Quentin, you and your merciless killing. <laughs> Quite the opposite of mercy killing. Quentin just decides, like, oh, yeah, you're dead. Okay, and, uh, it's funny, because I still have him on, uh, I have him on PP checker, but he's just like, nope, no, 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 no. What a nice tactic, though. I just step a little out of the way, and Quentin flamethrowers someone to death in one hit. Oh, it's just like the old days. Remember, Quentin, how uh, GB only had one good, like, move, and that was Scratch, and then I had Squish Scratch, as I called it, which was Screech and Scratch uh, linked together. Uh, GB, your hunger is not important right now. We're in a dungeon. We're solving a big, huge mystery of the Mirage Pokemon, and he's like, I'm hungry. It's such an anime character type thing of you to do, GB. <sighs> But it's okay, you are GB, so it's acceptable. If this were Quentin getting hungry, though, we'd have a serious problem. And look at how much nuisance that was! Stupid, 
stupid traps. Ah, silly traps. There's so many in this dungeon. It, well, I mean, I guess if it's going to coincide with the three legendary beast dungeons, then it, you know, it makes a lot of sense. I do like Marsh Tomp. I talked about Marsh Tomp before, and there he is. If you don't know who Marsh Tomp is, that's him. <laughs> He's the uh, middle evolution between uh, Mudkip and uh, talks about say for alligator Mudkip and Swampert. For alligators, a B A cool guy. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm B A cool guy. Badass cool guy is what I mean to say. <laughs> oh man. You know it's really funny. I was playing Animal Crossing New Leaf today, and. Uh, Today is actually the first day of spring in Animal Crossing New Leaf because uh, all the snow has melted and it's very weird because uh, I recently added paths in my town and I hadn't really ever done that before and I'm starting to feel get a feel for it. I kind of like it and uh, I mean in New Leaf I hadn't done paths. I've done paths in City Folk. Whatever. That's not important. Um, it's weird to see everything completely different again with the uh, snow melted. I like it, but it's still I like. I mean, winter is my favorite season, so it's weird to see it that way. Don't, don't those cracks on the ground look like the cracks that you fall through in, like, uh, in, in Pokemon Emerald and Rayquaza's, and Rayquaza's Tower? I almost called them Rayquaza again. But they look like if you were to step on those, you'd fall through the ground and go all the way down to the bottom. Guess I gotta get my mock bike out. Oh, look at Quentin using his totter seed appropriately. Oh, uh, it's so funny to think, oh, look at Monster House! Woo! But it's okay, we will fight this one out with the power of Fury Swipes! But you're about to see the nuisance that is Parasect right here. I wonder how long this actually lasted for, being sped up and everything. <laughs> It'll be funny to see. <laughs> oh, those silly Parasects. I'm sure it's common knowledge now to that, uh... There it is! Spore! Spore! And he's just gonna keep us asleep like a jerk! I'm sure it's common knowledge now that Parasect is actually, uh... Look at that Spore! Taken over by, uh... The Mushroom on his back. It's kind of... He's actually... You know, the Mushroom is actually a Parasite. Um... And look at that! That's not even a thing, Parasect! You can't sleep and paralysis paralyze me! You can't do that! That's not even a thing! Sleep a few wait, yeah, it's sleep alysis is not a thing. Sleep sleep effusion is not even a thing. Parafusion is where paralysis and confusion, what I call it. But you can't do sleep paralysis or paralysis sleep. I actually like that better. That sounds cool, paralysis sleep. Huh. That sounds like a very cool move. Sounds like a Final Fantasy type move, doesn't it? Get on that square. <laughs> It's so funny to see Granbull. Look at these guys! It's the most relentless monster house of all time. It's uh, funny to see Granbull as a fairy type now, or when I'm, I suppose when I played this game, I was like, oh right, it's a normal type! I finally adapted to the ways of the fairy type. It did take me a while, I was like, oh, I suppose this will be like how Steel and, uh, how Steel was back in the day. Steel and Dark. That's why Fury Swipes is such a fantastic move, and SPORE! Why won't he stop using Spore? How annoying is that? There we go, Quentin, taking advantage of his quad weakness to fire and using Flamethrower, taking him out, getting like 300-some damage. That's what I'm talking about. But look at how effective Fury Swipes is. It's like using Scratch a whole bunch of times uh, just for, you know, in one move. It's it's totally worth an improvement of Scratch. It does have a little low accuracy, accuracy I found out in this game, but that's okay. Still, I'm, I'm infuriated by the whole, let's keep the map white while we're in a snow level. That's very, very weird to me. It's like, well, just make it black or something, but I do like when it shades like that, because that way you can... Oh, it's a little cast form. That way you can see uh, some of it. But, you know, earlier when it was all white and stuff, I was like, how am I supposed to see where everything is? Everything's such a light color, I'm also colorblind. I don't know if that really matters or not. It's probably a problem for everybody. But, oh, and we, we saw a cast form there earlier. I like cast form. And Quentin grew to level 43! Alright! You can see he's significantly lower than us, because, uh... I went ahead and uh, when I was doing those side missions in the cut between this episode and the last one, we warped! Um, I uh, ended up leveling up a whole lot. And what am I doing being Quentin as the leader? He is not the leader, but it's an effective uh, means if you get warped away and you want to go right to the stairs. Quentin was right there, so I was like, nah, I don't want to. Oh, we wheezing! Wheezing! I remember back in, uh, I think it was Leaf Green or uh, Pokemon Gold, I don't remember, but I asked you guys to do a... Uh, fan evolution of uh, Weezing, and uh, some of you guys came up with some pretty cool ideas. My favorite, uh, I said like his name would be Choking, and uh, my favorite was actually, I got like fan art drawn, and uh, Choking was a poison fighting type whose fists would punch into walls or into other Pokemon and then detonate, and I was like, that is a really, really cool idea. More poison fighting types, please, Pokemon. More poison fighting types. Tox Toxic Oak School and all, but Choking, 
That sounds fun. <laughs> that sounds like a good- Choking doesn't sound fun! That's not what I mean. Choking the Pokemon sounds fun. I should just stop talking now, shouldn't I? Oh no, what have I gotten myself into? And Chibi is the murder murderer of the sleeping Pokemon in this episode, I guess. Although Quentin- has Quentin done it? I don't even- I haven't really been paying attention if he had or not. I'm just so used to it being a thing now, and it's always the last place you look. I will never understand that. Every time it's- every time I look for the, uh, stupid door, it's the last- the stupid stairs, it's the last place I look. But you know, sometimes that happens because the maze is built like that. But look at this one, I believe it was this one, where I go in every single room except that one, and ooh gosh, Quentin is in danger with a croconaw being right there. I always thought croconaw's, uh, I guess it's his legs, leg part looked really silly as a kid, and uh, I guess into now too. It, I always thought it looked like he hatched from an egg, but I was like, but he didn't, because Totodile's not an egg. I, I don't know, I always see that as like part of an egg, or like maybe it's like a, maybe it's like a sort of Tarzan a piece of cloth strewn over him, I guess? I don't know what it's supposed to be, but that's kind of what it looks like. I'm not exactly sure. I don't know. Looks something like that. Who knows? And there we go, Mount Farway, 38th floor, and right there, look at these stairs just going, coming up right for us. We had no problem with that. We took on Silver Trench. We have no worries. This was, this was a piece of cake, wasn't it? Wasn't it? I was, I was pleased with how, uh, how quickly and efficiently we went through here. Maybe it's the Kid Icarus music in the background. That's probably it. That game's fantastic. I just started replaying it again. Maybe I should play it for a third time. Oh, it's such a good game. But we're running out of moves there, as you can see. Finally starting to run out of moves this whole time. I've been just using A. A attacks. And uh, it's time for GB to destroy the Croconaws. And with that, we're all done. Alrighty, everybody, we've gotten to floor 39, and the stairs are right there. How was that for a little bit of GB brutality there, killing sleeping Pokemon instead of, uh, instead of Quentin? Um, but yeah, I, I'm proud of this run, guys. That was pretty, pretty dang flawless. But before we do, I almost went down there. I want to have a Max Elixir. I want to see where Quentin's at with his, uh, with his moves. Could you use a- Oh, you should be okay, my friend. Mmm, maybe, maybe you should have it just in case, you know. Just in case, I do have extra ones, and uh, you should probably... Let's turn off your fire moves for now, because quick attack's probably going to be the best bet here. Yeah, turn off your fire moves in this ice dungeon? What? I know. You'll see what I mean later. It's a good thing I'm a water Pokemon, I'll tell you what. Not far away, the 40th floor. And strangely, things are not icy anymore. Excellent! You've done well to come this far. You've overcome countless challenges fought through many dun dangerous situa situations, I was about to say dungeon situations, you got that right, and finally ascended to the very peak of Mount Faraway. Truly, only the Chosen have reached the summit. Psh, I went through Silver Trench, however... This is not the end. No, it is not, folks. This strange, mysterious voice is right, it's none other than Ho-Oh! Who saw this coming? Yes, the Mirage Pokemon the whole time is Ho-Oh, the builder of rainbows across the sky. Only when you overcome me in battle, that is when this mountain is conquered. Yes, we must battle Ho-Oh here at the top of Mount Faraway. This is the final challenge. Here I come. Not really of the whole game, though, but we are incredibly very, 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 very close to the end of this LP. Like, uh, extremely close, <laughs> and it's really weird to think, but uh, way closer than you'd expect. I'll have to remember to turn on Quinn's other moves there. Uh, Ho-Oh is pretty dang easy compared to the other legendaries we've been up against, surprisingly. Ho-Oh is a fire and flying type, but it does have some pretty scary moves if you let it hit you, so I'd recommend uh, bringing an electric type Pokemon or something, oh nice, or something with smokescreen to disable it or make it whiffer status. I think that's a great idea. We do have a ton of reviver seeds anyway, we are overprepared for Ho-Oh. Pretty dang easy as you can see here. He does have a lot of hits, but there we go, Ho-Oh has been defeated. Now Ho-Oh cannot be recruited on the first time you go through Mount Faraway. However, he has a 99.9% .9 chance on the next time. Uh, so yeah, there we go. We've done it. We've, we've conquered Mount Faraway. Now, uh, I, let's head over to Spinda and tell him the good news, right? We did it, guys. We finally conquered Mount Faraway. Hi, Spinda. Whoa, 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 what? You've seen the Mirage Pokemon? Whoa, whoa, what sort of Pokemon was it? I see. I see, I see. Ah, understood. So it is named Ho-Oh. Ah, I see indeed. Truly, truly, I envy you. Oh, he fell over. Rah! I, you, you made me open my eyes. 
They're swirly. Well, they still look googly, but still. <laughs> I was just saying that. Wait, that's nice, but you, you took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> the lesson is we mustn't ever give up, because if you give up, because if you give up, that's when it ends. Thank you. You have inspired me to resume my travels. I will again travel the world to find rare Pokemon, perhaps even before you. Farewell! And with that, spin the toddles on off. However slowly he might take. Oh, and there he goes, off the screen, but... He's, he ran so fast when we got to the end there. But yeah, guys, we're reaching the very, very end of this LP. Like, there's not much I'm able to cover uh, currently at my level now, so I'm going to cover what we're able to cover. Um, and uh, let's let's just uh, humor myself with the bulletin board real quick. Upward forest. I don't know why I sang that song. Uh, yeah, nothing, no friend area yet. Um, but I will do that. I'm not going to do this through Wonder Mail because I'm convinced that I want to do it myself. But once I uh, once I do find it, though, I will release the Wonder Mail if you're interested in getting it. But uh, I'll get into that later. So we don't have very much to go left, guys. There's really not much left. Uh, however, it's not the end of the LP. I've uh, yet to decide what we're going to do next time, so I'll leave it up as a little bit of a surprise. But I have uh, two or three ideas that we'll... Uh, that we'll head into. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this installment of our adventure and our trek up to Mount Faraway and our defeating of Ho-Oh. I had a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, guys, from me to you, have a very nice day, and I'll see you guys next time.